Hello world and welcome to today's motivation. I'm Teray. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Today I'm going to answer the question for you. What does it mean to be saved? Keep watching. So the Bible tells us in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10, that we are to confirm our call and election. What does that mean? Well, it means that we are to confirm the choice that we have made, and salvation is just that. To be saved is just um, a short way of saying that you have received or you have, you have accepted the salvation that Jesus Christ died to provide to you, okay? And as a Christian, what is a Christian? Christian is a follower of Christ. We are disciples of Jesus Christ, meaning that we believe that he was born of a virgin, that he lived and walked on the earth as a man, and that he died on the cross for our sins, and on the third day, he rose again. That's what we believe as Christians. That's the foundation of accepting Jesus Christ. But not only that, but then you accept him, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is who Jesus Christ is. And so that no one comes to him unless, no one gets to the Father unless they come through Jesus. And, and that's what it means to be saved. So you acknowledge him and you make a public declaration that yes, I believe, I confess with my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. That's what it means to be saved. And it is our responsibility to make sure that we are displaying a Christ-like character. And how do you discover what that character is? Well, you find out what Jesus did. Jesus is our elder brother, okay? He is the example by which we follow as Christians, as followers of Christ. So he has already given us a blueprint. It is our responsibility to get into the word and discover what that blueprint was. He taught us how to love. He taught us how to be compassion, compassionate for one another. He taught us how to, um, everything that God does, everything that Jesus does, is based in love. The Bible is a love story about 
God, God's love so much for us. Yeah, it's a love story about God's love for us and how he loved us so much that he already had a plan in place to bring us back into our rightful family, to bring us back home. Everything that Jesus did, every message that he ever preached, every action that he ever did, it was all out of an unexplainable love that he has for us, okay? So um, I put this in one of my live posts um, from yesterday and in it, I talked about a definition of agape love that I had never heard before and that in my own personal study time, I discovered that a definition of agape means wide open, that the love of God is wide open. And with that understanding of wide open love, I mean, there's no limits to that. It is wide open. It goes as far as the eye can see. But here's the here's the awesome thing. It, it goes beyond any of our natural comprehension. Like we can't, as humans, we can't even comprehend that type of love. But then the Bible goes on to say that there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God. So maybe today you're saying, I can't accept and receive the salvation because I've done some horrible things or because my character, I've just been out of whack or maybe I used to have this real good relationship with him, but I, I've strayed away from the things of God and I don't think I can ever get back because you just don't know what I've done. Listen, there's nothing that you can do that can separate you from the love of God. He loves you and he is calling you back into his family. So receive the salvation of the Lord. What does it mean to be saved? It means that I acknowledge his son. I make him Lord and savior of my life. And I'm not ashamed to tell the world that I love Jesus. Not only that, but I receive the love of God. I receive his wide open love that he has for me. Man, that should make somebody so excited right now. Like I get excited just thinking about it. I think thinking about that kind of love, like, wow, he loves us so much that he sent his son just for you and for me. So today your motivation is to receive the salvation of the Lord. Receive that wide open love. If you would like to make Jesus Lord and Savior of your life, repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you that you love me so much that you sent your son who was born of a virgin, who walked on this earth, who died on the cross, and on the third day, he rose from the dead and is now seated with you at the right hand of the Father. God, I thank you. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. I thank you, God, that you live big in me so I can live big for you. Congratulations. You are now saved. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, like and share. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me spread the word. Whenever you get an opportunity, please go over to TeraiPeoples.com to check out all the many great things that are happening at Teray Peoples Ministries. Click on the media tab to watch several motivations to help keep you encouraged. God bless you, family. As always, have an amazing day. I love you. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you.